Hello and welcome to my video on Google Sheets. In this video, I'll show you my library management system. So, to start, create a Google Sheet with the following information. So, I've created my Google Sheet. So, student number, student name, class, book ID, etc. etc. So, let's see, do I have the student number, name, class, book ID? I have the student number, student name, class, book ID. I have the book name, category, rent per day, book name, category, rent per day. I have date issued number of days and total amount. So date issued number of days total amount. So let's move on. Calculate the total amount by multiplying rent per day by number of days. So to do that, let's just choose any cell. And then to insert a formula, you need to type is equal to. And um, as we need to multiply, let's just choose, um, let's say this cell. And say the asterisk sign and choose rent per day. Then type enter, and as you can see, it shows 30 rupees, which is indeed 3 by 10. So let's move on. Validations to be used are number of days cannot be negative or zero. So to do that, what you need to do is click on number of days, choose the number of days say data data validation and say that number is not equal to minus comma zero sorry is between one and let's say um, it can be only 20 days and show validation help text number of days cannot be negative or zero so let's see and then i can say reject input or show warning so i would like to reject the input now if i type any number let's say minus one it will say number of days cannot be negative or zero. Let's move on. Category, category of books can be fiction, non-fiction, science, computer and fun learning. So as you can see, if I double click on these, I can choose between science, non-fiction, fiction, computer and fun learning. Let's move on. I have to show you how to do formatting, merging cells, so on, so on. So let's start. So as you can see, this whole row i've chosen bold italic i've shown it in 12 size and arial so now if i change it to let's say 7 size it's going to look like this now let's change it back to the original size which is 12 now it's back let's move on merging cells so to merge cells as you can see here i've filled the color made it 42 and then i've clicked on this icon select most type i can choose unmerge now and then unmerge these cells and merge them again so as you can see i'll just choose them all again click on merge cells now as you can see they have all been merged again calculation with basic formulas so to do that let's say there are two ways so i'll say is equal to or if I want to add the total of the total amounts, like let's say the amount of children who have borrowed, and let's say this plus this plus this, and it's a list of endless. So now let's say 12 plus 12. So as you can see, it's already come up. Let's move on. Now if I Press enter. Now let's move on. Cal the data validation. So as I showed you earlier, I can choose this. Go to data. Then choose data validation. And just type any data validation that I want like I showed you. And I can remove the validation or save it. So let's just save it for the time being. Conditional formatting. Now let's say that some child has borrowed the 
book for too long so i would like to format it like make it red color let's say so if as you can see if value is greater than 10 the color will be red so let's say if the child has borrowed for more than 8 days then it will be red so now let's move on so as you can see this child has borrowed for more than 10 days so his um, number of days is red in color let's move on sorting so to do that let's say i want to sort the child by his class so i can choose sort a to z so as you can see second first class second class third fourth fifth sixth and so on and then all the others are sorted accordingly i can change it to z to a that is it comes from z that is 10th to 1st. Let's move on. Filtering. So, let's say I want to see children who are only whose um, book category is only, um, let's say, non fiction. So, to do that, let's say I clear all, then I choose only non fiction. So now if you see, only children who have chosen non-fiction books as what they want will show up. Now I can select all and as you can see, all of them will show up. And if I clear all, none of them will show up. And I can also, let's say select all. And I can also filter by condition. Like if the cell is empty, if the cell is not empty, if, it, if the text that's typed in it contains, does not contain date is greater than these are all numbers this is formula related so let's just say as it's a category text contains let's say science so anything that has science in it will show up and let's just go down just click on ok so as you can see, if I choose computer, it will show up only computer, filter by condition, none, no, text contains, let's say again, science, then ok. So anything that has computer in it and science in it will show up, like there's nothing else, so let's say select all. So now anything that has science in it as well as computer will show. Sure. Let's move on. So let's just recap if we have done everything. There's the student number I've shown you that I've shown all. I've cal I've shown you how to calculate. I've shown you how to validate category of books, formatting, merging cells, calculations, basic formulas, data validation, traditional formatting, sorting, and filtering. So I've shown you all of it. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.